Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today is a part 2 video of document set creation and approval flow. So in our part 1 we learned how we can create the content type based on document set and how we can automate the creation of document set using Power Automate. So in this video I am just going to tell you how you can have the collective approval of all the documents which, I, which are inside any document set. So why uh, is important because uh, there could be a scenario where we want to have the collective approvals on few files rather than having individual approvals. So we should be able to do that in just one click, a uh, single approval click. So that's where like we actually leveraged creation of the document sets. And as you can see, I am on my dev side where I have this document set created uh, based on the content type as document set. So over here, you can see like this content type has started appearing over here. And I have enabled the content approval status workflow and how to do that you have to go to the list settings. So in the library setting you have to go to the version settings where you would be given an option to uh, have the required content approval on this submitted items or not. So I have enabled that so that I can leverage the out of the box content approval uh, flow or the approval flow for my this library. So over here by default the status is pending because like uh, these are not into the approved state and if I open up any of this document set which also has the like, few of the files and all those are also in pending state. So the requirement is like rather than individually approving these files I want my approver to just approve my this document set and all the files inside my this document set should get into the approved state. So this is where like we are going to build out one power automate. So I am going to my uh, power make.powerautomate.com and we'll start creation of one instant cloud flow and we can skip the trigger and flow name for time being and the trigger we are going to use over here is when the file properties gets created or modified. So based on that trigger condition we are going to set that uh, vendor contract document set so that that flow should only trigger when the document when we are creating any document set based on our this custom content type. So let's uh, add that trigger when file properties are modified or created. So I am going to use this trigger as when file is created and modified properties only and we'll connect that to SharePoint site and that is the name of our site. Library name it's vendor contact library I'll just try to find that out and over folder like I'll just I'll leave that as is and but in the trigger condition I'll just go to the settings and we'll add up one condition and in this condition I'm going to put this that content type name equal to vendor contract set so this is the content type which we created in our last video and I'm going to add this condition so my flow should only trigger whenever this custom document set is being created into my library. So I'll just go back to the Power Automate, place that condition and just say done. So this is our trigger. So in next step, we are going to check for the content approval status for this my document set because what is the intent? My approver is going to come to this library and can simply leverage the out of the box approve or reject options to approve my this document set. And based on this approved status, I wish to approve all the files which are under this folder. So let's do that. So I'll just add up one condition. So I'll use column as content approval status. And if the value is approved, then this branch should execute. And what it should execute, it should try to find out the all the files under that log, uh, document set and should approve it. So under this condition, I would be just placing one action that get file properties. And I would be just getting the files which are under my document set. I'll just connect the site, library name, vendor contract again. And include the nested files but which will include all the files beneath it and limit entries to folders so I'll just pick the title from the hard trigger 
so it will pick all the files which are under this yes recursive all so that will iterate through all the files and in the next action i'm going to set up that content approval status for all the individual files and over here i'm just going to reconnect to the sharepoint site and that same library and in the id i have to specify the id from the previous action and this would actually uh, bind it to apply to each and uh, where like it will iterate through all the files and set that content approval status so right now i'm just setting that action as approve and over here the important stuff is e tag so we have to add the e tag as well so right now if i just go to the e tag and try to find out my e tags from this dynamic values then i would not able to get it so there is an additional step where i have to extract the file metadata so that i can have the e tags for the individual files so just before uh, this action set intern approval i would be using one more action as get file metadata so that we can have a valid e tag for working with any other files we have to require e tag if it's a list item then it's fine we need not to pass on e tags so that's why it's important to get the file metadata and uh, we have to pass on the file identifier and that file identifier we would be using from the previous tab and i'll just shuffle this property so that the content approval property uh, the action would come later on once we have all the file metadata available and in e tag now i would able to set that e tag which we get from the previous property and now i am setting that e tag so now we are good so we are done with this uh, condition where like if the document set is in approved state and individual files would be iterated one by one and then after getting the e tag with the use help of get file metadata action we would be setting the content approval status for that file so that is done i will just name that workflow as set approval for each file and save it and then we can do a test run so now this document set which is in pending state i am going to trigger this uh, manually by just making the state of this document set as approved and now we will wait for our flow to trigger because we have binded our flow to trigger on this document set so our flow triggered but it failed let's see why it failed okay so we were there in the condition and while getting the file okay so it failed when we try to get the file metadata and i get to know that yeah so it failed because we pass the id of the file instead of the id file so we have to update our flow to pass the id file instead of id so just remember that for files it has to be identified not the ids for list item it's okay so we are going to make an update to that step and change that to identifier So from dynamic, I'll just try to get that identifier is the file identifier and save it. And then we'll try, retry to run the same instance. Let's see what happens. I'm just resubmitting the flow. So this time it went through and it succeeded and we are expecting our all bunch of files should be in the approved state let's go inside the vendor contract set and see the status of individual files so these are modified a few seconds ago and approval status of all these files are approved so we are done so that means that we created one simple power automate which can approve all the files under one document set in one single shot so this is a valid scenario is a, a sensible scenario for me like for one of our requirement 
so probably it could be for you as well so if you find this useful please do drop your comments do like the video and subscribe to the channel that's it for today thank you